Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. I wanted to get a video out for you guys so I could tell you what this new promo is today, how it's working, what's going on with these cards, and just so everybody can have the idea of trading uh, cards, SBCs, how they work, all that kind of stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video today, just drop a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you guys have seen the team, what are your favorite players and players like that uh, that you guys are interested in. So anyways, I want to start off the video. So this is a promo, guys, in which we've gotten all these cards and they've essentially uh, made these live cards. These are dynamic cards. I think it might be a replacement for Winter Wants to Watch. I'm not positive, uh, but I think it might be. Um, nobody really full on knows yet, but I think it's gonna be a replacement for Winter Wants to Watch. I think, I'm not positive, I think. Um, we'll have to see, but yeah, there's been a lot of cards that have been released. Really, really, really good cards. We'll go through them today. We'll kind of talk about a few of them. We'll talk about what's going on with the prices because the prices right now of them are actually going down a ton, which has been unlike any of the trends of the previous promos in the last month or two. Uh, so we'll speak about all that stuff today. And so, yeah. So these players, guys, uh, are Foot19 Headliners, a brand new event centered on players who are on an exceptional run of form during the seasons. Each Foot19 Headline player is, player is released on brand new item type, which dynamically updates in a unique way. At the launch of the event, each Foot19 Headliner player item type is released at one inform upgrade higher than the latest qualifying performance based on Team of the Week, Man of the Match Hero. So they've put these cards, guys, plus one on top of whatever they've been uh, before or an inform upgrade. So each time the Headliner player earns a sub subsequent qualifying performance based inform, their Foot19 Headliner player will dynamically increase to always be a one inform higher. So... Just to give you an example, Rashford's highest inform on this game right now is an 84 rated. If he gets another inform next week, he will go to an 86 rated, and this card will go to an 87. This card will always be the trump card on top of it. It's different than ones to watch because this will always be the elite card. Uh, thanks to their incredible form so far on the foot 19, uh, this curated squad of performers are perfectly placed to grab the headlines and get more informs during the rest of the season. So these are all the players. You guys can find them on Ultimate Team. They're easily accessible. You can easily find them. Um... Are they dynamic items? So they get upgraded, guys. They are live items. That's what I just wanted you guys to understand today. These cards are live items. They update based off of good performances. So if Rashford has two goals and he gets chosen for a man of the match or he's in the team of the week, he will update uh, in his price slash uh, thing like that uh, for team of the week. So that's how it's going to work, guys. That That's essentially what's going to go on with these cards. And that's what you're going to see. You're going to see these cards dynamically upgrade throughout the year and be treated like a once to watch card uh, for a long, long time. Now, these are the players uh, that I will come show you guys right now. These are the players that we have. So these are the players today. You've got an Insane Son. You've got Werner. You've got all these cards. Uh, they're actually dropping a lot in price right now. There's a lot of panic selling. People are going crazy. Uh, they're listing them so low right now. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys to buy, but some of these guys are getting super, super cheap. Now, I was on console on release early on. I bought this for 400. Uh, I sold it for 600. I bought these two for like 350. I sold these for 550. And then that I sold for 277. So they're all substantially lower. I actually rebought back in today, guys. Uh, and I'm getting killed on some of my players right now. Like I have Lala's. I bought four at 485. He's 435 right now. Uh, I bought a Royce at 850 originally. He's actually 700. He's 698 right now. Bought a Marquinhos at 170. He's 151. And then I bought uh, three Hernandez's at, uh, I bought those at 400 and he's 315. So I'm holding it out. I have some Rasper's that are at max price. I'm waiting until that gets a price range increase. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I've made a lot. So I'm up 700 today already, but I'm getting killed on a bunch of them right now, which sucks. Um, so I got to see if these Rasper's can help me make some coins there. Uh, but essentially guys, these are like ones to watch items. So these guys are going to upgrade and update based on how they're playing this weekend. So what you have to understand and what's significant about these cards going low right now is you have a window on Friday night to buy these cards because these remind me of ones the watches uh, from last year. They get really low on Friday night of the promo and they go flying on the weekend because they're all playing and they're in games and things like that. They're all, they all have games. And so I would look ahead at some of these players because some of these players guys are playing tomorrow. Sun's playing tomorrow. Um, I bought Sun today at 9.30, and he's 104 right now, and he's playing tomorrow. So a lot of these cards you will see low for a little bit, and then people, in my opinion, once this panic ends, I don't know when the panic's going to end. The, the panic right now is out of this world. The people are just listing these on the market like I've never seen before. Once that ends, you're going to probably see a lot of these cards start to jump back up pretty substantially in price. Whenever they're playing next, I think you're going to see a rise. So if you had an opportunity or if you had a time today when you bought these cards, trying to play with them, trying to get them in your team, and you bought too high... What you should consider doing is understanding that 
um, you've got a pretty good shot. You've got a pretty good shot here, guys, that you're going to be able to get back out at some point. Uh, you're going to be able to get back out before a game and minimize your loss. So I'm personally not going to panic sell some of the ones I have that I'm taking a loss on because for me, it's just not an efficient way to go. And I think you guys can really, really just honestly, you're not, your loss is going to be as big if you sell some of these before the game. So I, I don't know if there's going to be lightning rounds tonight. I don't know how much relevance that has. Um, you know, that's going to be an interesting thing to see. Um, I know that Tottenham plays tomorrow 100%, but obviously Pogba is really expensive. I think what's going on as well, and this is what I was talking about with my stream, um, they are ones to watch cards. There's two reasons why I think they are a little bit low in price right now. Because uh, they're, you guys know, if you guys have watched the FFS cards uh, and any of that, you guys saw on the first night that it absolutely flew. Uh, the reason why some of it's actually really low right now is because I think that a lot of these have just been thrown into packs and people don't really know that they upgrade. Um, they don't tell you when you go into Ultimate Team, and I was talking about this on Twitch today. You don't see it, man. On, on Ultimate Team, you just don't see it. It doesn't show that they upgrade. So I think that's a big deal. I think a lot of people are like, yo, do these cards upgrade? So that's that's one thing. I think a lot of people don't know that these upgrade because EA has not made it clear outside of their tweet, and I don't think everybody in the FIFA community uses just their Twitter. Another thing is, this is the problem with these cards right now. You can't find them on the market if you search special. Um, that's a big deal, guys. You cannot find these cards on the market. So say I want to go buy the new Royce. Right? Say I want him for my team. And I search special. Right? You're not going to find him. All you're going to find is that one. Right? You have to search not special. So it just comes into this thing that's weird because like you're not searching for a special and you can't find any of these cards. So it's it's very confusing. Um, and and it's, it, it is, conf guys, it's confusing to people because nobody can find the damn cards in the market. So I think that's another thing that's contributing to them being low. It's kind of, in a way, maybe like the team of the group stage cards. Um, in my opinion, at least. It, it's very similar to something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's weird, right? It's, it's definitely weird. I'm, I'm shocked as a guy who does the market and trading that these cards are dropping so much. I think what it does have to do with it, there is high pack weights on these cards. And I think a lot of people are just panic selling. I think a lot of people probably bought in early and are now just listing and listing and listing and listing. Um, that could be a thing, but I know the pack weight is pretty high. It's a 4.6% chance uh, of packing one of these players. So I know that that's something that's probably contributing, uh, to why, uh, in a way, guys, that these are so low. I think that that is something that makes sense to me. If you guys are interested in buying one of these players, um, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I would probably say a lot of these players, I, in my opinion, are going to start to rise up as the, we get closer to game time. I think. I'm not positive, but I think that's, that's something that I'm kind of leaning towards or slash assuming. Uh, I think a lot of these guys are going to start to gain some hype and some, some movement towards game time. Um, but you have some players like Sandro, Lala, um, Son, not necessarily, but especially Sandra and Lala, man, those are like ultra meta cards. You have a lot of people that just use those cards in general, uh, outside of these being live items. So I think those are cards that are going to have, once the panic stops or at least out of packs, they're going to go up a lot in my opinion. And you know, you have to understand that these guys are live. So there is a value to that. That is valuable, right? They're live cards. They're, they're ever, they're always upgrading. Um, and that, to me, gives these guys an extra edge against a lot of other cards in Ultimate Team because they are live. There are certain things with these cards that just, to me, aren't right. Like, Royce is cheaper than Werner. I'm confused by that. Um, Sané and Rashford have been extinct for freaking hours now. People, those, are, those have been literally extinct for hours. So there's a lot of that stuff going on that's confusing. Um, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions about these cards. If you have questions on how they work. If you have questions on the promo. Um, put in the comments down below. Something that I wanted to just tell you guys really quickly about this promo is that they're going to be releasing uh, three three extra cards not in this team. So today we've got, already gotten one. We got uh, this card in Weekly Objectives, which is right here. So we got that card in Weekly Objectives, and then we got an SBC Arnautovic. We've already seen two of the cards. There's going to be one more release because they said three total. So we've got an Arnautovic here, which, by the way, I do think his SBC is worth it. I would complete it. You're going to get a live good striker on tradable. Um, so you've got that all going for you guys, and then that's it. So we're going to have one more outside of that. Uh, and, yeah, so I just want to get a little video up for you guys really quickly. A long stream today, so not going to be another upload tonight. Um, but just talking about these cards. Let me know in the comments if you guys have questions. Thank you guys uh, for watching the video. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.